You're watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. Officers who work in a special victims unit aren't just something you see on TV. Police here in Utah do it every day. That includes one officer in Lehigh. ABC4's Brian Carlson shows us how his job changes from being kid friendly to one you wouldn't want kids to see. It's today's Behind the Badge. This officer's day-to-day -day job takes a pretty significant change at the end of the Utah school year. He's reassigned from a job your kids are very familiar with to one you probably watch on TV without the kids after you put them to bed. In the Lehigh Police Department, when students throughout the city are out of class for the summer, a school resource officer shifts to investigating heinous crimes against children in an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. This is his story. They're prepared to, to go into life and be productive members of our community. And Walking the halls of Lehigh's Sky Ridge High School in June, school resource officer Blake Sweeten says the need for him on campus isn't the same as when scores of students come back here for the fall and why Sweeten spends his summer working for the Lehigh Police Special Victims Unit. How close is that to Law & Order SVU? Obviously, it's not as dramatic as you see on TV every day. There's a lot of typing, a lot of legwork, a lot of things that they don't show on TV. Detective Benson Stabler, sex crimes, what happened? Although the job may appear less flashy than the popular TV cop show, Sweeten says his work in the SVU can be just as ugly. Many cases involve sexual crimes against children. He can't shake from his mind and prefers not to share. There are a few things in the back of my head that will go to my grave with me that have been tough. That's where they'll stay. He says the mentality of handling any case, any time, just goes with the job. And you go from doing CPR on an infant to uh, a family fight 10 minutes later to, uh, you know, somebody complaining that their neighbor parked their car on their grass. We have to be able to shift and deal with all kinds of situations in a day. Fortunately for Sweden, he loves being a police officer and enjoys sharing that during the school year with students. Part of my responsibility is helping them understand what's involved with it. Not only the good things, but the bad things as well. His life may not be a TV show, but each day he's on the job. For him, it gives his story a happy ending. Now, during the school year, Corporal Sweden also teaches a class about police there at the high school. He says it helps students be smarter about the world around them and helps him do his part, leaving kids a better world than the one he sees right now in his summer job. Back to you.